most problematic thing for me is that the two great passions, intellectual passions of my life are very hard-nosed analytic philosophy of mind and cognitive science on the one hand, which is what I started out doing. I was a, a philosopher and is still in some important sense where my deepest heart is. And children and babies on the other hand. And of course that hard-nosed analytic philosophy of mind, philosophy in general, is totally dominated by men, has been a, a field that's even more dominated by men than you know theoretical physics is. And of course anything to do with babies is completely associated with women. So it's been a real struggle. Part of, you know, half the time I, I thought to myself, well, come on, you don't want to be a, a woman whose career is devoted to doing all those, you know, woman-y things with kids and babies and all that girl stuff, right? Um, and another part of me has, you know, you should really go and become the analytic philosopher and show that this is something that, uh, that women can do just as well. And the other part of me says, no, no, what you should be doing is showing that all that stuff that everybody you know, treats with, uh, uh, without much dignity, babies, children, they're actually telling us as much, if you pay attention to them, they're as deep and profound and as important and tell us as much about any of the things that we care about in analytic philosophy as the, you know, science and the things that analytic philosophers, guy philosophers typically pay attention to. So, so the whole point of my career has been to try to take babies and young children who have been I think it's too much of an exaggeration to say I've been sort of intellectually treated with contempt over the years. When I, when I was in graduate school, one of the Oxford philosophers, when I was talking about how uh, children could explain about philosophy, turned to me and said, well, you know, one has seen children about, hasn't one, but, but one would never actually speak to one. And that's not totally out of the attitude that people have had towards babies and children. So what I've tried to do is take that take that world and show just how deep and profound and analytic and rigorous and intellectually serious it is. And that hasn't always been an easy, that hasn't always been an easy uh, road to hoe, but, um, but I'm glad that I actually tried to do both of those things and put both of those things together instead of just following one or the other.